Are you serious? Al Gore? Al Gore? What? Al Gore? No, 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 no. I thought he was gone. I thought he was out of the picture. Oh, no. Al Gore is back. And he says, Hurricane Sandy is a global warming warning. Oh, get some coffee, please. Mm. Oh, and the guys, the silver, are you serious? Jesus says, coffee mugs, stainless steel, inside and out. They're here, and they are nice. Oh, and my wife said, don't you forget the ladies. All right, all right. Heidi says, make sure I tell the ladies, we are serious. Are you serious? Jesus saves the pink travel mugs are here. Very nice. Stainless steel on the inside. Ladies, you will love those. All right, that's enough. Here we go. Look at the floodwaters. That's what Al Gore's saying. Al Gore, can I quote him? Here it is. Former vice president turned climate change activist Al Gore warned Tuesday, that's yesterday, October the uh, 30th, that the storm that ravaged the East Coast Monday is a disturbing sign of things to come. Is that a prophecy? Because I'm going to go to the Bible, Al, when you're done. Quote, Al Gore says, quote, We must heed this warning and act quickly to solve the climate crisis. Dirty energy makes dirty weather, Al Gore. Was this guy the vice president of the United States? Al, what? Al Gore, All right, was you... Look, I know Joe Biden has issues. I know Dan Quayle had issues. But Al Gore, you're trying to tell me that dirty energy makes dirty water? Dirty energy makes for dirty weather, according to Al Gore. Gore, one of the country's most high-profile advocates of measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, compared this week's... Let me ask a question. Al Gore, was you standing in... He says it's global warming. Now, was it? I thought it's climate change. No, 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 no. I invented the internet, he said. It's, it's global warming. Can I ask Al Gore something? The, sta the same storm that brought Hurricane Sandy, the same God that brought Hurricane Sandy, brought the snow blizzard from Canada into West Virginia. I don't see Al Gore standing in the two feet of snow in West Virginia and saying, this is global warming, because it don't make sense. You can't have it both ways, Al Gore. How about this? Let's look at the prophecies of the Bible instead of your prophecies. But I'm going to finish. Get your Bible right now to Luke 21, 25. Or you can go to Matthew 24. Or you can go to Mark 13. Where do you want to go? Revelation Gore, one of the country's most high-profile advocates of measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, compared this week's massive storm to the 2010 floods that devastated Nashville, Tennessee. For me, he said, the Nashville floods was a milestone. For many, Hurricane Sandy may prove to be a similar event, a time when the climate crisis, which is often sequestered to the far reaches of everyday awareness, became a reality. Both natural disasters, Gore said, were strengthened by climate crisis. Scientists tell us that by continually dumping 90 million tons of global warming pollution into the atmosphere every single day, we are altering the environment in which all storms develop. Can I be quite honest with you? Let's get brutally honest. All of the smoke from every smokestack of every factory in the entire world and all of the dirty air that comes out of the stacks of every coal plant in the world and of all the ex fume, exhaust fumes from every vehicle, millions and millions, millions and millions of cars around the world in a 30-year period, all of it collectively is less than 1% of the total emissions that goes into the atmosphere. During that 30 year, all of it is less than 1% because the, the, the smoke, the ash, the gases, the fumes that come from the Earth's core itself without question can, is more significant than anything man can do. Those are actual facts. And as a matter of fact, 
if we're going to go science, you know, if me and Al Gore going head to head on science, that's probably not a good, that's probably, that'd be ugly, wouldn't it? That'd be an ugly. But let's go to the Bible. Since he's prophesying there's more to come, he's worried about warnings. I'll give you the warning we should be concerned about. The, the, the current events of earthquakes, uh, pestilence, famines, droughts, water turning blood red, great hail, rains, floods, mudslides, all of these disasters, they're prophesied in the Bible. Even Jesus said in Luke 21, 25, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity and the sea and the waves roaring and men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things which are coming upon the earth, for heaven and earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Her and storm was not something that just came because of a coal plant in West Virginia. Oh, by the way, if the coal, the mining, the coal in West Virginia, then why do they have two foot of snow if it's global warming? Why are we having blizzards? And when they shall see, if, listen, Al Gore, where were you? When 11 feet of snow fell in Iceland, 11 feet of snow fell in Iceland in mid-September on Rosh Hashanah and buried 13,000 sheep and lambs alive. They don't even get 11 feet of snow per year. I mean, not even close to that. Iceland gets very little snow, by the way. Greenland's the one that, I mean, uh, did I say Iceland? I meant Greenland. They got, I, I got it backwards. But anyway, 11 feet of snow fell. Where it shouldn't even, they don't even get that kind of weather. But they did. But where was Al Gore? 11 feet of snow. Was that global warming? When these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh. Sorry for confusing Iceland and Greenland. Don't, forgive me up there, guys. But anyway, I'll, look, let's not argue. I'm not going to say that pollution's not. Look, pollution's terrible. We should take care of the planet. We should, we should watch what we do. But you can't just shut down the planet. I mean, what are you thinking? You're going to save a few spotted owls? Just save a few spotted owls and let millions of people die? Starvation? Because that's what you're talking about here. And again, all of the smoke, all of the fumes doesn't even compare to what the earth naturally does. And the earth naturally is able to absorb it within its atmospheric ozone properties. It, it literally, God has a plan to manage the earth. Now, God is going to destroy this earth. But he says the reason he's going to destroy it was not because of pollution, not because of political parties. God's not Democrat or Republican. God is God, and beside him there's none other. No, God said the reason I'm going to have your birds fall in the sky is not because of pollution, because, oh, by the way, when the 5,000 blackbirds fell in the sky in B.B. Arkansas, they went and took 63 of them and did autopsy on the birds. The birds had no disease. They were not malnourished. They had, there was no toxins in their system. They died of blunt force trauma. In other words, they died for, because they crashed into the earth. The animals that are dying, mass birds, fish, cattle, deer, buffalo, bison, millions of fish, all of it, none of it's from pollution. They're all dying because of sin, mankind's disobedience to God. God said, I'm going to kill your birds, your fish, your cattle, your beast, your whales. Earthquakes are going to crack your earth. Volcanoes are going to erupt. Hurricanes and typhoons, cyclones and tornadoes are going to rip through the land. Forest fires, wildfires, floods, droughts, all of it's going to happen. Your Mississippi River is going to run dry. Who are you blaming that on, Al Gore? Look, God said your sin, be sure your sin will find you out. Folks, we're living in the last days. It's time to get right with God. I'm telling you what the real warning is. It's not Al Gore's warning. It's my warning of the gospel. Jesus is coming. He's coming after those that are ready. If you're not ready, you're going to be left behind to face the, the wrath of God. Please, send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel. Just the private message. Me. Just title it. I want to be saved. 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 Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. In Jesus' name.